One of the causes of error in a given system can be your measurement system. And to deal with measurements, what's called measurement systems analysis, you'll want to start to learn how to use the gauge R&R chart. Now the idea behind gauge R&R is that you have gauges and you have people using those gauges called appraisers. And the idea is that you want the variation among your parts to be the biggest cause of variation, not how appraiser 1 puts the gauge on the device and appraiser 2 puts it on a different way. So you want to be able to conduct a trial to find out how good you are at measuring things. And to do that, you need two appraisers, appraiser 1 and appraiser 2, and at least two trials, and preferably at least 10 parts. So what I've done is brought up an example of that. So here you can see an example of the gauge R&R chart filled in. This is from the uh, Automotive Industry Action Group's third edition manual using their data. And you can see we have these different parts and three different trials and three different appraisers. And you can also, if you have a reference value for each one of these, you could put that in here. But you can see there's a lot of variation in here, different kinds of parts. Now what you want to do then is scroll down and look at gauge R and R. So there's several different pieces in here. There's the equipment variation. So how much does the gauge contribute to the overall variation in the system? There's appraiser variation. This is how much does each person contribute the variation. And then when you come up with the calculation based on those two things, it gives you how much or what percent of the total variation is due to the equipment and the appraiser. And the current macros will calculate for you that if if the percent R and R is less than 10%, then you're probably pretty good. If it's between 10 and 30%, you'll get a message that says, this gauge system may be acceptable. And it'll also try and figure out whether you need to retrain your operators or whether you need to maintain or redesign your gauge. And that'll start to tell you whether or not your measurement system is good enough. If you scroll down even further, you'll see a plot of each part by appraiser, so you get some idea whether somebody, a couple of them here look like they're pretty close and one person looks fairly low. So maybe it, we just have to train that one appraiser to bring some consistency out among all of our appraisers. And this will also show the range and variation. So you see that this particular person here had a pretty consistent track record, but this person was measuring all over the board. Ah, so maybe this is something we could track, is find out why this appraiser is doing uh, things a little bit differently. And so that's how you do uh, a variable analysis on your, your gauges and how you measure things using the gauge or an R chart. Now, in other sections, we're going to talk about how to use something called linearity and the attribute gauge worksheet to do attribute studies. So look for those as well.